Hey everybody, Bob Marley here. Uh, this section is on uh, representing functions as ordered pairs. Let's begin. Okay, so a couple of definitions. Actually, it's four of them, I believe. A relation is just a set of ordered pairs. You guys have been graphing ordered pairs lately. Uh, so there's a set of ordered pairs that is called a relation. The domain, which is D, is all the X values. The book sometimes calls it uh, the input. So up above, it's all these X values. The first number is 1, negative 3, 5, and 0. Okay, the range is all the y values and the book sometimes calls it the output okay and above it's all the second numbers two and then two repeats so you don't have to write it again and seven and negative one okay uh, a function is where there's a, there's one x value for each y value so for example you guys in this relation right here it's a function because uh, none of the x's are repeating so it's okay to have the y's repeat like this y and this y are repeating but the x's can't repeat and give different uh, y values all right so but this relation uh, is not a function because 2 is repeating so the x can't repeat for it to be a function they're relations they're just not functions okay uh, so y can repeat to be a function but uh, x can't uh, and they're still relations though Okay, so which, uh, which of these uh, relations is a function? So let's look through. Look at A. Can you see the zeros repeating? So that is not a function. All right. Uh, C, the negative twos are repeating, so that's not a function. D, the fours are repeating. So the only one that, uh, where the x is not repeating is choice B. So the answer is choice B. Okay, identify the domain and the range of the relation. So here's a set of ordered pairs. It's a relation. So your domain is all the x values. So 3, 6, 9, and 12. And the range is the 1 and 2s. Okay, and 2s repeat, so you don't have to repeat them again. And the 1s also repeat. So the only thing I see in the second uh, numbers are the 1s and the 2s. All right, what about this one? Okay, so the, uh, here the 2 is repeating for the x's. So your domain is 2, 4, and 7. Uh, your range is 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Sometimes your books put them, puts them in, in uh, order from smallest to biggest, but I don't care. So if they do, just know how to, how to uh, rearrange them. Okay, here, sometimes they'll give you a box like this, okay? Well, we're, this makes it actually easier, you guys. This is the domain, 0, 1, 2, 3, and your range is 5, 7, 15, and 14. Or 44, I mean. All right, so there you go. Uh, okay, so here's the domain, uh, the domain of this function. Now, we know this is a function because they tell it's a function. So the domain of this function, uh, y equals 2x, is negative 2, 0, 2, 5, and 7. Okay, so make a table of ordered pairs that represents this function. Okay, so then we're going to identify the range of the function. So go ahead and make a t-chart. All right. Remember, I'm going fast, so you can pause this wherever you need to to get caught up. If you need to write notes or you need to repeat stuff, so... Uh, pause it wherever you need to, okay? Now, all those numbers right there are all these numbers right up here. Negative 2, 0, 2, 5, and 7, okay? Those are your x values. That's your domain. Your domain is always your x values, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and plug all those x values in for the x at y equals 2x. So I just plugged them all into y equals 2x, y equals 2 times negative 2, y equals 2 times 0, and so on, all the way down to y equals 2 times 7. Okay, go ahead and extend that table out, and then negative, or 2 times negative 2 is 4. All right, so keep going, and uh, and then it's going to give you this ordered pair, negative 2, comma, negative 4, x, comma, y. This is my y, so negative 2, negative 4. Uh, okay, so there's the rest of them, and then when you write all those as ordered pairs, there you go. Okay, uh, let's see, so, um, so the range are all these dudes right here, okay? Negative 4, 0, 4, 10, and 14. Those are the range numbers, all righty? Piece of cake. Okay, so write a rule for this function right here. Okay, let's take a look. We have all these x values and all these y values. What you need to do is notice the relationship between x and y. See the relationship between x and y. Can you see that this is going up by plus 2? This one's going up by plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So what's happening is, is you're adding 2 to uh, each x value to get y. So your equation is y equals x plus 2. All right. Uh, whoops. There we go. Uh, okay. That's it.